Hi, I'm Coach Sampson Davina, and today I'd like to describe to you briefly why the forehand stroke is slightly circular as opposed to a straight line motion. The forehand loop is circular slightly this way as well as slightly this way. When you do a forehand loop, you want to follow the contour of the ball. So this is the contour of the ball, the shape of the ball. So as you hit the ball slightly like this, you're going to help, it's going to grab the ball much better. You're going to get more potential for speed and spin. With the shoulder being in a socket, almost everybody's forehand does a little bit of this or a little bit of this. It's very rare to see a forehand actually go in a straight line. So definitely you want to have your stroke going a little bit like that. As you hit the ball, you next come back slightly lower and then raise your racket up slightly as you hit the ball, trying to follow again the contour of the ball. The other circular motion is slightly in like this. It's very important to use this forearm snap as you hit the ball. That gives you more speed and spin. However, if you extend your arm on your forehand, you're not going to be able to get much snap on the ball. So as you're back swinging, it's very important to bring your racket in. This opens up the angle and allows for the snap. As you take your racket back, you extend your arm slightly. Now with your angle open, you can properly snap. As soon as you close your arm like this at contact, this snap with the forearm actually covers over the ball and closes your angle. So again, if on your back swing you extend your arm too much, you're not going to be able to properly snap with your wrist and forearm. But on your backswing, if you bring your arm slightly in, that opens up your angle, allowing the snap to happen as you hit the ball. So, just like I said in the beginning, there's two circular motions. There's a slight circle this way, and there's also a slight circle this way. Thanks for watching.